Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate a uh, French toast. So I have my recipe, I have my management plan, I have my hair up, my apron on, and I've washed my hands for at least 20 seconds with warm, uh, soapy water. You may be wondering where my little assistant is, who usually helps me. He's actually um, out today with his Nana, and I'm going to be doing this on my own. Hopefully he'll get back and he'll do the next uh, clip with me. So today is French toast, like I said. It's gonna be a two-day recipe in school. I've tried it as a one day and it's pretty hairy because there's really not a lot of time to eat. So what I'm doing this semester is I'm going to have you make the mixture one day, then come in the next day, remix it, uh, bake it and cook it, and then um, eat it. So it's gonna be a little bit easier, more time for you guys to digest in class, all right? So as always, I'm gonna measure everything out. And then I'm going to put everything to, uh, together through reading my directions. So the first ingredient is four eggs. So in school, again, I'm doing this at home. In school, you will have five custard bowls. Unfortunately, I don't have five custard bowls at home. So what I'm going to utilize are just measuring cups to show you. If you don't have uh, even five measuring cups, if you were to do this at home or custard bowls, uh, you would just want to make sure the reason why I'm telling you to have out so many custard bowls is because you want to crack your egg separately. So say you crack one egg, let me crack an egg, and you find that you have no shells or it's a bad egg and there's blood in it or anything, you would then be able to crack another egg into it. What would happen is if I cracked an egg right now and it was no good, I would have ruined uh, two eggs. All right, so what you can do, so that's one egg. Now I have the custard bowls. Here's another egg. In class, you're going to crack them separately so I'm able uh, to see your eggs. Even using a bowl, you had a bowl. Okay, so I know I need another custard bowl for vanilla. So say all my eggs are good. I have no shells, there's no blood, we're good to go. There is a little white piece hanging off of an egg that's actually called the chalaza, uh, and that is normal also. Okay, so now that all my eggs are fine, what I could do, okay, is just put two into one, okay, for my fourth egg. You could put them all into one, okay, but uh, I don't want it to spill over. Okay, and then I've cracked my last one. Now I did get some egg on my hand that time, so I'm just gonna quickly turn around and just rinse that off of my hands. Okay, so I have my four eggs cracked. Just trying to see if you can see this. You actually can't, so I'm just gonna put them up over to the side and continue with my directions. It then calls for a half cup of milk. So again, liquid measuring cup, milk, Flat surface, eye level. So I'm going to get down and eye level. Now again, if you go over the line, you're just gonna take and pour. Okay, so I went a little over the line to show you how easy it is. Okay, so looking at it like this, yeah, it's at a flat surface, but you wanna get down and perfectly, I'm on the red line um, at a half cup. So I then have my half cup of milk. It then calls for one teaspoon of sugar. Again, you don't need a lot of sugar uh, with French toast because again, you're putting a lot of syrup on that uh, when it's time to eat. So as usual, with our dry ingredients, you're gonna place those ingredients on wax paper. So I need my leveler, I need my teaspoon, so I have enough room. So I'm gonna level off right into my container. There's my one teaspoon of sugar. Then it calls for, I believe, one teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna take actually another piece of wax paper because I see that I have some egg on my counter, so I'm just gonna protect my surface. Another piece of wax paper. Make sure I have the one teaspoon. And see, it doesn't fit, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna carefully, and that's okay if it goes all over. I'm gonna heap it over, and we're going to level it off. So what I should do is have another piece of wax paper ready to place this on. I'm gonna make sure I 
make sure again I have that leveled off properly. I've got my one teaspoon. This extra cinnamon is going to go right back into your container carefully. And then you're going to put that over to the side. Then it calls for a small amount of vanilla, which is a quarter of a teaspoon. It's going to be your smallest one. And again, like I said, I don't I didn't have a lot of custard bowls at home, so I left this one for the vanilla. If you were at home, you're okay. You can put this in with an egg. It's all gonna go in together uh, anyways. I have you do it all separately in school so I can check your ingredients that you've measured properly. Again, you're gonna go nice and slow. Quarter of a teaspoon is a very small amount of vanilla, which will give a little bit of flavor to your French toast. Okay. And then the last ingredient, Pick this up. Is a pinch of salt. So what you do is you're just going to put a little bit of salt in the palm of your hand. You can measure this. It's about an eighth of a teaspoon too. So just a very small amount. You're going to take a pinch full and that's it. Any extra you're not going to try to get in there. Just going to pop that into the garbage. So a very small amount there. So at this point in class, you would have me check all your ingredients, and then you're going to go along with your directions for day one. So my first direction says using a wire whisk. This is your wire whisk. Okay, you're going to beat eggs in the medium-sized bowl. So you're going to place all your eggs in the bowl. There's two. There's three. And there's four. So again, in class, this is going to settle overnight. All right, so I'm going to mix it all up. I'm going to do exactly what you're going to be doing in school. And then I'm going to do a uh, part two, okay? Probably in a separate uh, video clip. All right, so you're going to take your, if you don't have a wire whisk, there are plastic whisk, any kind of whisk. If you don't have a whisk, uh, you could just use a fork, okay? Just easier to use the whisk in this instance. Okay, so you have it all nice, you get it frothy, but again, yours is going to settle. It then says to add the milk, I'm adding my milk, my sugar, my cinnamon, and then my pinch of salt. And again, you're going to mix that in. Again, be careful because the liquid can go all over the place. I like to scrape. Uh, the side of the bowl also to get that cinnamon incorporated. Mmm, smells good already. So it's that cinnamon that I'm smelling already. Okay, so at this point, it says that you're going to store this in a container. So it looks like the cinnamon is just flowing up to the top. That's okay. Again, like I said, it's going to settle overnight. So at this point in class, don't go crazy mixing it or anything. You're just going to take this mixture. You're going to have a container like this or similar to this. You're going to place it into the container and you're going to label it with your period number and your group number. And then on day two, you're going to take it out and I'll show you how to do the day day uh, two part. So you may be thinking at this point, wow, that was easy, Mrs. Sauer. We had a lot of time. We'd be able to bake it. So you really don't in class. I want you to have time to sit and enjoy your food, okay? Not whipping it down to get to your next class. So yes, you would probably have some time to be able to cook it, but everybody wouldn't be able to sit and actually enjoy it. So I do this for a reason. Trust me, I've been doing this for years and this is the best way to do it. All right, so I'll be back to show you day two in a few minutes.